do is set up your initial landing page. Of course, you want Facebook integration in place. That's easy to do. And in this case, we're doing a first time buyer campaign to start. And here we are inside post a prop where I set it up. You can just choose the template there. Now, what we need is we need a code from Facebook. And we're going to paste it right in this field here. This is how you do it. You go to your Facebook account and you go inside the ads manager. Okay, and that's the tab on the right side of your Facebook. Click here and either click Create Ads or Ads Manager. And just click the Ads Manager here, and what you want is pixels. So you just click that right there. Okay, so after you click Pixels, you'll see this screen. And you simply click the green button, Create a Pixel. On the next page, you name the pixel right here. Just enter it there and click create. On the next page you'll see this pop up with instructions to install it on your landing page. It's very easy. You want to click the middle option that says manually install the code yourself. Just click that. You'll see this page under number two. It's just copy this entire code right here. When you click it, it'll turn blue like that and you can just copy it by clicking right there. Okay, and then you're going to test your page right here. But first we're going to copy this and go back to your post a prop page. If you already have a pixel created, like I do here, and you need to grab the code, you just click Setup, and then you'll see that screen right here, so the manually install screen. Click that, and click over here. Copy that, so I copied it. And I'm back here. And then we're in the website area for the domain, and that is for this landing page, my first time buyer page. And this is the page where I'm going to set up an ad to send the initial traffic from Facebook to this page. Of course, my goal is to have everybody convert, but for those that don't convert, I'm going to use the Facebook pixel to create a group to follow up with them. Now I just click the SEO button, and then there's a tracking code right here. Just copy and paste it, and then click Save, and we're done. So you do it to the home and your thank you page. Do it to the thank you page too. Click Save. So I'm done. I did everything here, and I'm all set. I go back to this page just to test to see if it's working. And what you would do here is there's a field here that you would enter the landing page. So just go to your live landing page, copy the URL, right? Copy it. And then you would paste it in the field here. Okay, and then there's a button to test and you'll see if it's working. Okay, with that code in place, Facebook is able to monitor visitors to the page. So every time I send and I have traffic to the page, I can have it dropped in a group to use later with Facebook ads. And to do that for a specific page, okay, for this page, I would want to go back here where Events Manager, my, my pixel's right here. Okay, here we go. And I can just click Audiences right here. And then I want to create an audience. Just click that custom audience and then I have options here and you want to click website traffic click that and there we go so that your pixel name will be there the green button there the green dot will mean it's active okay so all you want to do is place it, your website visitors here so I click here because I want to do it just for that landing page. So I click on people who visited specific web page. I enter my web page here. Okay, so we got that. So for this follow-up ad, I want it to be for people that have visited this page but did not convert. Now, if they converted and clicked this, the next step is they go to the thank you page, right, with the content here. So what I want to do is I want to create a group of people who 
visited here but did not convert. And I can do that by copying the thank you page URL right there. Just copy that. I go back to my ads manager and I click exclude. People who visited a specific page. So we're doing the same thing. People, we want to include people who visited the home page and exclude people who visited the thank you page because these are my leads. Anybody who reached the thank you page opted in and we have their lead information. So we don't want to follow up with the ad. You might want to in some cases, but in this case we don't want to. We're doing a first time buyer campaign. So our, our initial page is this. This is our first, our ad is going to send traffic here. And then we might follow up with a different property and a different campaign that might appeal to someone interested in first time buyer information. A summary we have the pixel name up there if it's in as the green dot you're good to go then we just drop down the first drop down we click pick people who visited specific web pages and we enter in our home page URL then we go we click the exclude button and we're going to exclude anybody that visited this specific web page the thank you page okay and then, so we have that set up. And then the last thing to do is the time frame. You can pick from 30 to 180 days, how long you want to keep them in your audience. We want to keep them several months. So we're going to put it 180 days right here. And that's it. That's how you set up a Facebook pixel to use a page like this and capture the people that don't convert and create a group, a custom audience for Facebook. And then once we have that custom audience here, it's going to grow. You're going to see it grow in time. As people don't convert, they're at least being dropped into this group, which allows us to cost effectively follow up with them with another ad. Okay, so we have some diagrams here just below this video to check out to kind of bring you through everything that we went over. Setting this up is easy. Okay, first you just need to set up your landing page like this, and then a matching ad. Once you do that, you're good. Then we set up the fa Facebook pixel, and that allows us to track people who visit the page, remember? And then we set up the custom audience like this for people who have, all of the people who have visited the homepage, we're gonna drop them in a group, except the ones that converted. So we're creating a valuable group here. And then when we set up another ad to this group, it's super cost effective because it's highly targeted. They're interested in what you have already and you can build your brand, put yourself in front of the uh, potential clients and generate more leads and do it at a very low cost. This is one of the best things that Facebook has going on for real estate agents. You definitely want to do this. So take a look at the step-by-step -step instructions below this video. That should help you. I just noticed one thing. We have to name our audience. Okay, so after you do all this, real quick again, your pixel name there, we click people who visited the specific web page. The home page of your landing page goes there. Then we exclude, exclude the thank you page, name your audience, first time buyer page. That's it, and then you click Create Audience, and you're finished. Now check out the step-by-step -step instructions below. Thank you.